hi guys welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here hi my name is sarah if you're returning thank you so much for coming back today's video is going to be another business related video as you guys know i love this video in today's videos i'm going to be telling you guys a couple of tips you need to know before you place an order from alibaba.com shout out to them for sponsoring this video you guys know that i worked with them late last year and that cooperation went well i'm so glad quite a number of you guys love that video and i actually got some more questions in my dm so in this video i'm going to be answering some of those questions and giving you guys even more tips um, and these are basically things you need to know before you place an order from alibaba.com anytime i talk about anything business just know that you're going to hear alibaba.com 90 percent of my suppliers are from alibaba.com they're just a lot more trusted yeah that's basically why i go for them most of the time i spoke a bit more in depth on alibaba.com in my previous video telling you guys what they do so basically they are the one of the largest wholesale shopping platform in the world and like i said I'm a businesswoman and I get 90% of my suppliers from Alibaba.com so you know that they are a very good shopping platform basically. One thing to take note of is that Alibaba mainly specializes in wholesale. So if you're somebody that is looking to start a business or yeah, you basically want to get stuff in wholesale, that is like the best platform for you to get your products from. Some things you need to know before getting a supplier so there are suppliers are basically divided into like three categories so there's the manufacturer there's the trading company and then there's the wholesaler so for the manufacturer these are basically people that produce the products produce the products basically whatever it is that they supply yes they produce it they have the factory they make it all of that yes that is the manufacturing company and then there's a trading company they buy from the manufacturer manufacturers basically or a trading company can be the same as a manufacturing company this um this can be just the part of the company that like resells the products yes and then we have the wholesalers which are people that people that basically sell in wholesale you find a lot of these people on alibaba.com all of these people that i listed the wholesalers trading company the manufacturing company you can find them all on alibaba.com so we're going to use sunglasses today as our reference so say you want to get sunglasses you want to start your sunglasses business and you go to the manufacturer that's the factory that produces you can hear them tell you that their moq is 10,000 pieces 20,000 pieces you can't buy anything less than that so that is the manufacturing company and with manufacturing companies you can get like um customization yeah some wholesalers and um, do that too some trading companies do that but it just depends on the product you're getting but most of those services are provided by manufacturing companies so they sell on larger scales um with trading companies the moq is can can be slightly lower than the manufacturing company but then for small businesses especially when you're thinking of starting a small business you don't have a lot of money to start with and all of that you always want to focus on the wholesalers because those are the people you can find moqs of let's say 100 1500 which i believe is not so much to buy if you're buying from china like if you're buying from china 1000 isn't really a lot to buy so i think yeah because i feel like you're buying like less than those amounts you might as well just buy it in your country from another wholesaler just to save cost because you're still going to spend on shipping and all that so that's just like me breaking it down for you guys you know that you plan to start a business very soon this is a video you should watch definitely watch and you should also bookmark it add it to your favorite add it to whatever playlist that you you have or videos you want to watch when you plan to start your business add this video to that so i'm just going to give you guys tips you need to know things you need to know things you need to look out for just before you start shopping on alibaba.com they have different methods of searching you can search by typing what what it is you're looking for you can search by using pictures and then you can also use the filter so if you know exactly what it is that you want to get i suggest typing that product we're looking for sunglasses today we're going to type in sunglasses and then we're going to filter it we want to get only 1000 pieces because we're starting small or no let's say 100 pieces yeah we want to start with 100 pieces because we're starting small we don't have a lot of money to spend so we're searching for 100 pieces 
and yeah another thing you want to take note of which you can also insert in this filter is that you want to take note of verified sellers also called access suppliers you want to take note of these things that i'm going to mention you want to look for verified suppliers or access suppliers whatever if you're using your phone or laptop you're going to see it as either one of these the next thing you want to search for is a supplier that has been selling for five years and above so i know that um in previous videos i've said oh i've gone with um, suppliers that are selling two years below and all of that but i recently had an encounter and ever since that encounter i'll always say like always go for suppliers that have been selling for five years and above i'm saying that because in case you plan to start your brand and let's say you want to sell sunglasses you don't want a situation whereby you sell your sunglasses you buy sunglasses from this supplier and then when you go ahead to sell them you get sold out and then you come back and your supplier says oh i i don't sell this product again i feel like that has happened to me a couple of times like once or twice when it comes to suppliers that have been selling for one year and below or two years two years and below yeah that has happened to me a couple of times with those suppliers so you always want a supplier that has been selling for long enough that means they have experience and you know that with what happens with suppliers that have been selling for like one years and two years is that they might just be testing the website you don't know if they're just testing the website and then they're like mm, do i like it don't i like it you don't know you don't want to be the scapegoat maybe you're their only customer or something you don't want that to happen so when you see somebody has been selling for five years and above you know that okay they are there to stay kind of yeah so you always want to look for a supplier that has been selling for five years and above so that way you know that whenever you need a restock whenever you want to restock you want to re-up on your product <laughs> that supplier is going to be there for you so another thing you want to look out for is how quickly and how effectively that that supplier responds to you when you're, if your supplier is replying you two days later like your text your communication is two days apart mm, i don't know but i don't think that's the supplier you want to stick with i feel you always want to um look out for a supplier that is always replying you not there's time difference that's one thing you should know and when you're on alibaba.com it will tell you the local time of the local time in china just so you know that oh okay it's currently 1 p.m in your country but then in china is 8 p.m so you don't expect these people to be on their phones they're probably with their families at home they are not working anymore so so they might not reply you immediately because they are because of the time difference but at the same time at least they should reply you like <laughs> you don't want to go 48 hours without getting a response it's just that that person is probably not a serious person so you want to look at the communication with your vendor how do they communicate with you how is your communication is their communication effective do you understand what they're saying is it detailed enough speaking about this detailed enough i'm going to my next point which is how is the description of the product so um you're looking for sunglasses um when you scroll down on alibaba.com normally you see places a place where it's basically gives you a description of how the product is the material what material is that um are those sunglasses made of are they made of plastic are they made of acrylic i don't know what product sunglasses usually come in but yeah that's just an example so what product does it come in is it stainless steel is it metal <laughs> i want a detailed description you don't want them to just say sunglasses for sale moq 100 pieces uh, uh, uh. Mm, no so uh, normally they'll write trendy sunglasses trendy um blue light glasses etc so yeah so make sure it's detailed enough and of course ask your questions ask for videos are there enough pictures to show the sunglasses from like different angles and then you also want to check for ratings um you couple you probably don't know but then alibaba also has ratings so if you scroll down i'm going to give you guys a representation somewhere on the screen i'm using my phone this time just because i know that a lot of people use their phone for alibaba not everybody uses their laptop or computer for alibaba.com so i'm going to be showing you guys what it looks like on the phone and just so you know where and where to get to certain things another thing is that when you find a supplier that is probably the cheapest or probably has like the lowest moq trust me if you find one there's probably a thousand more of that supplier so you just want to take your time 
check check for other people don't just talk to one supplier and conclude i wouldn't advise doing that if you're satisfied then that's fine but then honestly i wouldn't advise doing that i advise talking to different suppliers scroll take your time talk to different suppliers basically find out their prices compare bargain who gives you the best um discounts who gives you the best price ask for shipping details all of that that's if you don't have a shipping agent already you can also find shipping agents on alibaba.com i've spoken about that go through my becoming your own boss series and you're going to find videos on that um you just want to like take your time and talk to different people who is communicating with you best like who gives the fastest response who gives the best deals who has the best quality from pictures videos all of that you just want to take your time okay yeah take your time basically compare bargain ask around keep doing that until you've come to a final conclusion that okay this is the person i want to settle with this is the person i want to buy from this the person i want to be my supplier um, there are certain ways on alibaba.com that you can pin suppliers so you i always suggest pinning your supplier like any supplier that you feel like mm, this one might be an option pin them up pin them pin them pin them up um, and i always advise to communicate with the supplier on the app just in case anything happens you know that okay you have receipts and all of that don't take your communication outside alibaba the moment you take communication outside of alibaba.com just know that whatever happens next alibaba.com is not responsible for that feel like you can trust the suppliers and all of that fine that's been the case with me sometimes like i feel like i can trust the suppliers but then most of the time i always advise especially if you're new to this leave communication on the platform so that if anything happens alibaba.com can see it they can see your communication they know everything these are just like a couple of things you need to look out for tips that i will give for anybody that is planning to shop from alibaba.com start your business or all of that um if you want a more one-on-one one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one, one -on -one help i'll suggest you subscribe to my becoming your own boss class it's coming up this month on the 22nd of january so i have like a general class i have one-on-one -on -one classes and i have the one that you can do together so whichever one rocks your boats please join um go to my instagram for more details that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you again to alibaba.com for sponsoring this video look out for more videos with them because your girl is an ambassador your girl is an ambassador <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to make a lot much a lot more business related videos very very soon just expect to see a lot of business related content this year i hope you guys stick around with me Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hurrah. 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 Uh,